Hello and welcome to my home. Today I'm going to show you how to grow radishes in containers. But before we go there, I want to let you know I have other types of videos on my channel. I have easy to prepare recipes, product reviews, meditation videos, and other videos on growing a variety of vegetables in containers. So let's go, go grow some radishes. Now there's many different types of radishes, but they fall in two, I'm going to say main categories. You have the kind that are the round radishes, like the ones you normally find in your grocery store. And you have those that are more like the oblong shaped radishes. Both are very good and very delicious. So I'm going to be growing both some small round ones as well as some of the more slender radishes. The oblong radish that I'm growing is called the French breakfast radish. And this one, um, it germinates in about 7 to 10 days and matures in about 28 to 30 days. It gets about 2 inches long. And I don't know if I mentioned this, they're not as, I'd say, strong as some of the other radishes. Two of the more um, rounded type of radishes is one called the Cherry Bell. And this is probably one you see a lot in your grocery store. And there's one called the Rivoli. Now, uh, generally radishes, just like most vegetables, take the 68 hours of sunlight. You need to keep it moist. Um, you're using containers that have drain holes in it. You're using potting mix. And um, one thing with the radishes, you don't have to use as much of um, fertilizer. Since they, for one thing, they grow very quick. They're going to mature, like I said, in 28, 30 days, maybe a little longer depending on the variety that you're using. But if you use a fertilizer that's too high in nitrogen, you may uh, get more of the leafy green part, which is edible and delicious, but at the sacrifice of having smaller radish bulbs. Now in this container, I have some of the French um, um, breakfast radish that I uh, talked about. Those are the more oblong shaped ones. Uh, these have been growing since September 19th. So they got a pretty good little growth on them. One thing is I do need to thin them out a little bit. They should be about a couple of inches apart. Some are a little too, too close. And there's some small ones like that one that I'm just going to pull out and discard. But I'll go through and see if there's some others that I need to thin out, probably need to thin out in here as well. And uh, I'm going to show you how to plant them. It's really, really simple. Oh, before I, I get to that, so since this is a, um, the oblong one and it gets a little longer, this is a deeper container that I'm using. This one is about 10 inches deep, so it should be uh, a good enough depth for them to grow. So they have good bulb formation. And it's a pretty wide, about 12 inches wide. Now you don't have to use a rectangular pot, you can use a regular long pot. But that's what I decided to use on um, this particular uh, radish. So I'm going to show you the cherry bells that I started. And I'm also going to plant something called a Rivoli, R-I-V-O-L-I, -I, radish. Now these are my cherry bell radishes. I also need to thin them out a bit. And I'm going to plant some of the Rivoli over here. And you follow the directions that are on your package. Now my package says to bury them one-fourth to one-half inch deep. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make a little row. Now this pot's not as wide as the other one, so I'm only going to do a single row. And the soil is already damp, so I'm not going to pre-water it this time. And that's how the seeds look. Now, again, it might seem a little counterintuitive that you don't really have to fertilize these. Um, and you have to watch out for the nitrogen. 
Now the fertilizer that I use has um, quite a bit of fertilizer in it. So I am not going to add any additional fertilizer to this container. And just pat it in like you always do. And I'm going to put a label on this end so I know which one is which in this container. So I'm going to water in my seeds. And you're going to keep it moist. Even as it's growing, you're going to keep it moist. Um, again, it's not going to be muddy, but just nice and moist. So just check it every day or so to make sure the moisture level is good. Now to harvest, sometimes you'll see the little rashes peeking up above the ground, but sometimes they may not peek up. And you can just kind of dig around it lightly and see if it's of the size that you need it to be. And then pull and harvest. And actually, they're very good in salads. You can saute them, cook them with other vegetables. They're really quite delicious. Now, if your potty mix does not come with any fertilizer, you can add some type of low nitrogen level um, fertilizer to it, just a little bit. Again, you don't want to put so much nitrogen in it that it focuses more on the leaves and not the little bulbs growing up in there. I'll show you one of the fertilizers that I use. So this is Dr. Earth fertilizer, and the nitrogen level is pretty low. It's a four. This is a 463, and I use this as my all-purpose fertilizer. And there's plenty of others on the market. And that's it. It's pretty simple, super easy to do. If you like that video, hit the thumbs up like button and consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. That's it for now.